Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate the process of creating a partition table in PostgreSQL using pgAdmin4. In pgAdmin4, list, range, hash, and combination of these partition methods at different levels are supported. Let's explore how to create the partition tables with different types of partitions using pgAdmin. Let's create a list type partition table. Open the pgAdmin, connect to the server, select the database and the schema in which partition table to be created. Right click on the schema and the select the table option from the create submenu. Enter the table name list partition table. Turn on the partition table switch. Navigate to columns tab and add the columns ID of integer type, status of text type, and acquired date of timestamp type. Navigate to Partitions tab. Select the partition type as a list. Click on Add Row icon to add partition keys to the table. Select the key type column and select column status. Click on Add Row icon to add partitions. Enter the name of the partition as cust active and enter the value active in the in edit field based on which partition will be created similarly let's add partition for the archived customer with the name cust archived It will be based on the status equals to expired. For the rest customers, create a partition with the name cust others and turn on the default flag. Click on save button to create a table. A table is created in the database and is shown in the browser tree. A partition table can be differentiated from other tables by this icon. Select a list partition table and navigate to SQL panel. Create table SQL has a clause partition by list which confirms the selected table is a partition table of list type. Expand the list partition table and expand the partition node. Three partitions are listed under the partition node. In addition, the partition details can be checked in the table properties by navigating to the partitions tab. Let's explore the range partition. Open the create table dialog from the context menu of the table menu. Enter the table name as a range partition table. Turn on the partition table flag. Navigate to the columns tab. Add a column with the name ID and the data type as an integer. Add another column with the name status and data type as a text. Add one more column with the name acquired date and data type as a date. Navigate to the partitions tab. Select the partition type as a range. Click on add row icon to add partition keys to the table. Here we will use an expression as a partition key. Specify an expression in expression edit box. Click on add row icon to add a partition. 
enter the partition name as customer 2011 to 2020 enter the from value as 2011 and to value as 2020 let's add one more partition enter the partition name as cus 2021 to 2030 enter the from value as a 2021 and to value as a 2030 click on save button to create table a table is added to the browser tree as mentioned earlier a partition table can be differentiated from other tables by this icon select the range partition table and navigate to the sql panel create table sql has a clause partition by range which confirms the selected table is a range type partition table expand the range partition table and expand the partition node the partitions are listed under the partition node let's create a table with hash partition open create table dialog from the table context menu enter the table name as a hash partition table turn on the partition table switch navigate to columns tab add column with the name id and data type as an integer add one more column as a status with the type text navigate to the partitions tab select the partition type as a hash click on add row icon to add partition keys select the key type as a column select column id you may specify the collation as well as the operator class depending on the data type of the column click on add row icon to add partition to the table enter the partition name as a cus part 1 enter the modulus value equals to 2 and remainder value equals to 0 let's add one more partition called cus part 2 where modulus value is 2 and remainder value is 1 click on save button to create table a new table is added in browser tree select the hash partition table and navigate to the sql panel partition by hash in the create table clause confirms that selected table is a hash partition type table expand the hash partition table and expand the partition node a particular partition can be detached by selecting detach partition option from the context menu let's delete an existing partition cust part 1 from the hash partition table click on s button to detach the partition similarly we can attach a partition to the existing partition table open the properties dialog for the partition table and navigate to the partition tab click on add row icon to add a partition in the operation drop down select attach option and from name drop down select the partition which you want to attach enter the value for the modulus and the remainder click on save button refresh the partition node of that table the newly attached partition can be viewed under the partition node of that particular table so that's all about managing the partition table using pgadmin4 thank you